Keqiang has called on East Asian economies to enhance cooperation in finance and regional connectivity. Li was attending the ASEAN summit and related meetings in Naypyidaw, capital of Myanmar. Li urged the nations to promote East Asia's economic integration process, enhance the level of regional financial cooperation, strengthen regional connectivity, deepen cooperation to improve people's livelihood, expand people-to-people -people exchanges, and advance public health cooperation. The Premier said China stands ready to strengthen coordination with Japan and South Korea to give a full display of their edge in capital technology and talents to assist ASEAN in its infrastructure construction. At the 17th China ASEAN Leaders Meeting, Li urged to complete the negotiation process for an upgraded China ASEAN free trade area by 2015. And he also called for cooperation in maritime affairs, security, science and technology, environment and education. Li's trip to attend the meetings is also combined with an official visit to Myanmar. For Brisbane, Chinese President Xi Jinping released a signed article with the topic opening a more splendid chapter in China-Australia ties. President Xi writes that ever since the two countries established diplomatic relations 42 years ago, they have developed into good friends and strategic, and strategic partners where both nations have benefited. And he says the two governments continue to enjoy high-level exchanges with deepened political trust. President Xi notes the key to their good relationship is by abiding by the principle of mutual respect and equality, promoting mutual trust through dialogue, realizing fruitful outcomes through cooperation, and consolidating friendship via communication. President Xi says that China strives for deepening reform while Australia continues to accelerate its economic restructuring and industrial upgrading. He says he hopes to have more meaningful exchanges with Australian leaders to explore the potential of furthering bilateral relations. And the Chinese president went on to say that he looks forward to meeting with Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott and the other leaders of the G20 to formulate a comprehensive growth strategy for robust, sustainable and balanced growth of the world economy. G20 leaders have a wide range of matters to discuss at this year's forum, spanning from anti-terrorism to energy and investment. But top of their agenda is supporting economic growth. At the end of the summit, they will sign up to a Brisbane action plan, which will include short-term and mid-term measures to coordinate trade and investment between countries, create job opportunities, and boost competition in order to lay a solid foundation for the recovery and growth of the global economy. And the summit will also focus on the economic structural reform of member states, as well as the establishment of a more stable international financial system and reform on financial supervision to prevent financial risks. G20 members are also expected to make progress on international cooperation on anti-corruption, paving the way for a global anti-corruption.